Hello again, this is Captain John, and today we're going to talk about how your boat sails in apparent wind. There are actually three different types of wind that you'll be encountering all the time that you're out sailing. And let's take a look, first of all, over here on the left side of this boat here. And let's say that you're out underway, and it's a perfectly flat, calm day. There's no wind whatsoever out there and you're just motoring through the water. As a boat moves through the water, it's going to produce the first type of wind, which is called boat wind. And boat wind always blows from the bow straight down the center line, and that's the wind you feel on your face as you're motoring through the water. Now later on, you start to notice the effects of the second type of wind, which is true wind. Now some of the things you can look for that indicate true wind are flags, wind waves, and boats at anchor. Now let's go ahead and raise our sails and find out what happens when we combine boat wind with true wind. A third type of wind is apparent wind and you notice this apparent wind arrow lies between the boat wind and true wind arrows. The main sheet trimmer will want to trim the mainsail so that it parallels the apparent wind so that when the apparent wind comes across the boat as it will like this it will stay glued to the mainsail and give good lift and good drive. In the second illustration we have the true wind off the beam and once again the apparent wind will lie between the boat wind and true wind. So you would want to ease the main sheet to parallel the apparent wind so that the wind flows evenly across the windward side and leeward side of the sail. Now let's see what happens when the true wind blows between the beam and the stern. On our boat to the left, you notice that the true wind now is off the quarter. We're on a broad reach. Look at the boat wind and true wind and notice how they're starting to cancel out each other. That's one reason apparent wind gets lighter when your true wind goes toward the stern. Now your apparent wind will still lie between the boat wind and true wind and on a broad reach most of that apparent wind is doing a job of pushing the sail instead of flowing around onto the leeward side of the sail. In our last illustration, you notice we're on a run with the true wind dead astern. Apparent wind and true wind will be in line, and because true wind and boat wind are in opposition, your apparent wind will be extremely light. With the wind dead astern, you've lost all lift because no wind flows onto the leeward side of the sail, so the boat's being propelled through the water simply by the wind blowing onto the windward side. Well, that's it for the day. Have a great sail, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.